So Taurus, let me see what is in store for you guys for love, romance, and relationship here for the month of November 2017. Okay, so let me talk about this character first. This is a fire sign, so Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And this can be their sun, moon, or rising. Um, this is somebody who is very, very adventurous. They come and go, and I feel like, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Um, in the upright position, it's somebody who's very dynamic, very truthful, very honest, and I feel like they have a very no-nonsense approach when it comes to relationship. It's like all or nothing, you know. And uh, the nature of fire signs is that fire signs are generally very, very um, honest when it comes to their communication, and they expect honesty and full devotion in their relationships as well. And uh, they can, they tend to be a little bit jealous, a little bit like possessive of their relationship partner. But they generally as well, uh, if they are possessive or if they are a little bit jealous, I feel like they would give you 100% of whatever it is that you're giving back to them. So unless they get that 100% from you, it can feel a little bit empty. And if, if they're not getting, you know, if, if things are not being reciprocated, um, they might bounce, okay? So I feel like you're dealing with this person and um, they're making plans to see you or you're making plans to come see them. Make sure things are squared and even. So that means if they came to see you a few times, if it's like long distance, for example, and they've you know taken a few trips to come see you and you're taking a few trips to come see them, you need to balance it out because I feel like there's this internal calculator going on in their um, brain and they're just like, well, I did it last time. I think you need to do it. So, and the bottom line is, it's not out of pettiness. It's out of the fact that they want things to be even. They want things to be fair, okay? And they don't like to be taken advantage of. This is someone who's very, very generous. And I feel like they're very passionate, very spirited. When you're dealing with this person, I see great chemistry here. This is generally a card about... People who have like, um, if we're looking at astrology, you know, like NATO charts, usually a lot of squares or oppositions in the chart where you have different philosophies, you do things differently. And let me just say, as an earth sign, you tend to move a little bit slowly. You're very calculating. You're very methodical. And you don't make a decision unless you have, you know, kind of played out all the different scenarios, right? And so this person operates in a different way. They're very, very fast. Their mental processes can also be very fast. I don't feel like they're reckless, but you might think they're reckless. And so you think that, you know, they're, they're making all of these decisions and it feels like they're hot-headed. It feels like they haven't really thought things through. But I can assure you that they have. They're, you know, um, a little bit more spontaneous a little bit more willing to experiment and so the interaction the chemistry between the two of you can be very very good can be very strong um, and I also feel like once again this person values honesty okay I feel like some of you you have some things that you're keeping from this person this fire sign that's what I'm feeling we have here the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is kind of like a little bit of a sneaky behavior. And when the person shows up in the upright position, I feel like this might be your energy, where you're not really sure, or you know, you might just be like, um, I'll take what I can get out of this relationship, because I feel like the chemistry is really, really strong. But you, for whatever reason, might not feel like they are 100% everything that you're looking for in a relationship partner so you're just like okay I'll, I'll enjoy the ride for right now and um, see what comes of it or you know I'll it's okay for right now but further down the line I feel like they're a little bit too spontaneous or you might look at them as being a little bit too hot-headed for your taste 
so you don't see long term viable like um, a, a long term viable future with this person. If that is what you feel, you really need to tell the other person because I feel like if you're straddling the fence or if you are not 100% giving your all, they're going to sense it. And, you know, they recover very quickly. So breaking the news to them that you're not interested, I don't feel it's going to be, um, I, I don't feel like it's going to destroy them. They'll, they'll bounce back and they'll move on. But wasting their time is one thing that they might not tolerate. So I feel it is best if you can, you know, let them know the truth, okay? But I feel like you might not have an accurate assessment of this person. That's what I'm sensing. There's a lot more depth here that you might not understand about this person because I feel like what you see is what you get with this person but there's a lot more energy behind the scenes that you're not aware of so if you are you are 100 committed to this person I just feel like there are some things that you're not 100 sure about and, and we're never sure but the point here is give this you know the the best that you have to offer because there's a lot more to this and that that requires unearthing there's a lot more to this that can be very very good for for the two of you it's a learning uh type of a relationship okay um so if you give it a chance i feel like there is going to be really good communication there is going to be transformation in this relationship if you've had a lot of falling out, a lot of squabbles, a lot of just mindless um, disputes with this person, there's going to be a clearing of the energy, but it requires the that you both behave in an honest and truthful way with one another so that you can have a new relationship or you can have like a more solid, stable relationship with each other. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry here. Um, there's a lot of passion lots of excitement lots of chemistry but i feel like they're you you sense that they're a little bit too much for you they're, or they're a little bit too reckless for your taste and so you might feel a little bit kind of out of sorts or unstable with this person okay so I, as i was telling the other signs i'm doing uh the love readings in a different way excuse me in a different way so that i can you know connect to all the different narratives that you guys are dealing with so let me see what else is going on behind the scenes for you guys. Okay. So... We have here the justice card in the reverse position and i usually see this as like a relationship where um it, it's either on its way out and you're trying to you know um it's like separated but not completely severed yet trying to date other people you are trying to date other people your significant other that you've been separated from is trying to move on with his or her life trying to date other people as well so i feel like there's still some lingering bonds here that's not 100 percent severed and there's still like a little bit of confusion should i move on completely or should i just let this relationship go and um with the justice card in the reverse position this is a very, very lopsided type of a relationship where I feel like one person does all the work and the other person takes things for granted. Um, we have the emperor showing up in the picture and um, this is a very non-traditional deck. So the way that I usually read this is um, somebody who has a sense of entitlement um, where they feel like their partner should, you know, do all the work or their partner should uh, wait on them hand and feet. And um, in the past, you know, a lot of the times we become a little bit blinded when we're in love with someone or when we're infatuated with someone. And then we don't see these things. We don't see that. They don't really make an effort. They, they wait for you to do the work or, you know, you wait for them to do the work. But there is some lopsided, you know, uh, lack of reciprocity in the relationship here where one person feels entitled to having the partner kind of take care of them, cater to them and it's creating resentment in the relationship as a result of it i feel like 
the relationship is on its way out, okay? It's not going to be coming back together. And I also feel there is a lot of rigidity here. So we have the four of pentacles. And usually this is clinging on to a relationship very, very tightly, very strongly for dear life. Because of the status quo associated with it or because of the financial aspect of the relationship whereas if you were to you know divorce and separate completely you have to divvy up your assets you have to start over you have to you know pay child support pay alimony whatever the situation is i feel like it's a situation where you held on to it for a really long time because of security issues and now with the separation and then the, the divorce becoming very imminent, I feel like both parties are not willing to get back together and work things out. I also feel one person is might have been very controlling, might have been very rigid in the relationship. And as a result of it, it was just hard to... Um, to feel it was hard for the partner to feel like you know they're an equal contributor in that relationship so this is something I want you to be aware of if you're dealing with this um, if you're dealing with this and you're separated and you're still trying to get back together or you're still not ready to move on aim to be a lot more open-minded open-hearted when you're dealing with your partner if they're voicing their concerns you want to make sure that, you know, you might not agree with them, but you want to at least acknowledge their feelings, acknowledge whatever it is that they're telling you, because I feel like things have been kind of swept under the rug. And over time, it just feels like a cycle to me where one person is very emotionally kind of vacant and the other person wants a little bit more emotional depth in the relationship and it's really lacking in emotions and mutual understanding and sympathy and empathy between partners okay You're getting hunches and you're getting feelings here. So this is a really beautiful card here. And uh, this is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is a, it's almost like, you know, dating somebody or being with somebody who not only, you know, do you love as a significant other, but you care about them, you care about their well-being, they care about you, so you really like each other. And I feel like this is a situation where it's like us against the world. We have here as well the Five of Pentacles in a relationship reading. This is a really good card because it basically denotes that no matter what, no matter how tough things are, no matter who is, you know, trying to break us up, we're going to ride it out together. So I feel like, you know, if you've been dealing with interference from um, family members, if you've been dealing with interference from the external environment, work, other people trying to, you know, kind of um, cast doubt into your relationship. I feel like the two of you have a very, very special bond here where you can weather the storm. If you are dealing here with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I especially see a um, Piscean energy here with the moon, or if you have another um, earth sign that you're dealing with, another Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, I feel like the bond is very, very strong and the bond is very solid. It is something very real. Because with this Five of Pentacles, it's like no matter what, we're going to ride it out together. And we're not going to let people get between us. We would rather forego wealth and prestige and reputation and still have each other than, you know, um, succumbing to other people's influences. So I feel like you have a very strong, firm understanding of each other. And it could even border on having a very empathic or psychic link with one another and i do feel this water energy as well as an earth sign if you're dealing with them okay so it's very very good taurus so let me see your advice here when it comes to love and relationships okay 
So this is a card here about reciprocity, what I mentioned before, okay? The Six of Pentacles is kind of like when we're kind of flying high, we want to give back to our um, partners. And then likewise, when they're kind of like dealing with a lot of turmoil or, um, I'm sorry, if when we're dealing with a lot of turmoil, that's when our partner is going to reciprocate that energy and be a lot more understanding. So I do feel that for some of you who are in a relationship, um, things need to be reciprocal, okay? Don't be the one to wait on your partner hand and feet and expect to not have resentment down the line. Even if it's at the beginning stages where we can be a little bit starry-eyed or blinded by the infatuation, we don't see these things, you have to be a little bit more cognizant of these things, okay? And then likewise, if your partner is the one waiting on you, I feel like you need to kind of wake up and chip in in that relationship so things really need to be balanced out and don't take each other for granted okay so the six of pentacles coming in here in your advice basically denotes that when you're flying high and your partner's kind of down in the dumps be the one to cheer them up because one day the situation will be reversed and i feel overall for those of you who are dealing with a uh, an earth sign overall, the relationship is very prosperous, it's very harmonious, it can be very jovial, but there's just too many people in the mix, okay, family members, children, um, relatives, too many things, too many people. Aim for some alone time with your partner, okay, have that alone time with each other. And when you have alone time with each other, I feel like some of you might purposely try to avoid that because you seem to be having a lot more fun when you're with your significant other and then there are more people around. But a relationship needs to exist between you and your partner. So crowding the relationship with other people, that's not really going to serve you well either. So I feel an element here about interference. You know, it's like inadvertent interference from outside. And it's not really helping your relationship grow. So aim to do more alone time, having more alone activities with you and your relationship partner, your significant other. Um, on the other hand, air signs. There's stoppage in communication here if you're dealing with an air sign aquarius gemini libra sun moon or rising there is a lot of stress a lot of strain this is a relationship that's no longer healthy okay it's bringing a lot of stress it's bringing a lot of confusion as well and i feel overall with this four of swords here this is a stoppage it's like a clear stop breakage in communication you might be um it's almost like hurtful words were kind of thrown about um, possibly from the other person and then you're just going to be like okay let's go our separate ways and not talk to each other anymore and the words do hurt the words do cut a little bit and as a result of it I do feel that it is much healthier for you to just you know end this once and for all and not you know backpedal on this okay um, in relationships overall I do feel once again with the card that came out earlier the seven of swords it feels to me as if if you're dealing with an air sign in particular there's a lot of things that you don't know it seems like they're not communicating with you they're hiding some things and if you're no longer talking to them it's like they're moving on with their lives and you're going to need to do the same okay they're moving on with their lives so you need to find some ways to you know follow that energy and just you know create more opportunities for yourself so get out there and date for single people earth signs are really good and i feel like if you have that fire sign that is in the picture for you it looks really really promising okay and i feel like there's a lot more to that person than meets the eye so you're going to have to give it a little bit more time be a little bit more patient you're going to find out some amazing things and i feel like they're really cool exciting things and then for earth sign earth sign couples i feel like things are very very stable okay but you want to take that alone time to be with your partner you want to uh, do more alone time activities with them okay going hiking be away from people because it seems like 
it's a little bit crowded. The relationship feels like it's crowded by other people and that's not good, okay? So I, I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, Taurus. And once again, I apologize for the um, delay with your reading. I am moving again. Okay, so I just stopped work and I'm in the process of wrapping things up. I am moving and I promise I will try my hardest to get the um, December videos out on time for you guys. Um, things are just, everything's up in the air. So moving is physically, physically very, very taxing. And um, this is the second move I've had to do in about two months time. So I'm just really exhausted. So I apologize for the delay. I hope the reading is still timely and it's still um, helpful for you guys. So take care of yourself, okay? And I'll be back next month. Bye-bye.